Another powerful tool in e-learning, and particularly for online and hybrid courses, is the use of forums. Forums can be configured even for regular classes in order to engage the students to discuss and research a topic and discuss it among themselves outside of the classroom. So to configure a forum, we need to click on add an activity or resource, and then under activities, we choose the forum. Then click on add, and then we put in a forum name. Under the forum discussion, there are two ways of doing this. Uh, you can, um, in the introduction, you can have a case study or a scenario that you want the students to discuss, and then the students start their own discussions right below this scenario that you have posted. The other way of doing it is um, you just state here that all students need to participate and then the students have to answer your questions and then interact with other students in the course. So here is option one, or actually this is option two, where you post the questions and the students have to interact and answer them. Then you can leave all the other options here alone. Under the grade, you can choose. So then at this point, we specify the grade category. So it depends what the category would be here, for example, class assignments. And then if you choose to grade each response from the students, and I'd recommend that you specify something so that uh, it makes the students participate in those questions and those discussions, then under the aggregate type, you choose the average of ratings, and then you can choose a different scale here. So you can specify, so every time a student submits a response, you could mark it complete versus incomplete, or you could have a scale of 1 through 5 and then you'd scroll down and then choose save and display. So, so far we just have created the shell. We are basically saying that there is going to be a discussion for this week and uh, we need everybody to participate. However, we have not specified what the topics are going to be for the discussion. As the instructor, you can click on add a new discussion topic and then under subject this is where you put in the title of your topic that you want the class to discuss so you could have a discussion similar to this once you have specified the subject and the message or the requirements for this discussion then you could also upload the file if you have a diagram or you have some kind of uh, further explanation as far as this discussion is concerned then you click on post to the forum and then at this point an email will be sent to all the class participants as well as posted here on the course page. So um, the students at this point they will come so this is how it will show up in the course page. There will be an entry for should you cite Wikipedia in your papers it will be a class discussion. I'm going to move this to the right a little bit and then the students will click on it and they'll see something like this all students should participate in the discussions below and they'll have your question once you click on the student will click on the question and then this is where they'll press reply the only option for them will be the reply option so once they press reply then they'll have something very similar to this where they can post their response they also have the capability to upload files. So the key to using forums is going to be to get the students engaged in discussing and researching more resources beyond the actual classroom. And the key as well is to get the students to interact with one another. So the students would go back and forth and uh, comment and discuss a specific topic. You can add in the discussion here, you can add more than one question for each specific week. So if we go back under the list of questions, you can add another discussion topic. And in the case of online and hybrid courses for distance learning here at uh, Cairn University, we need to make sure that we use this component so that we can have regular and substantive interaction between the students and the instructor in the course.
this is a very key component. So that's how it's done as far as the forums in the course.